Продолжаем. Continue our work at Ukraine Crisis Media Center. And the next topic for today is strengthening the responsibility of controllers. Our guests are <coughs> Ksenia Lapina is absent. Oksana Prodan MP, Petro Poroshenko Faction, Chairwoman of the All Ukrainian Association of Small and Medium Sized and Business Fortece, Viktor Galatyuk, Chairman of the Verkhovna Rada Committee on Industrial Policy and Entrepreneurship, Sergei Kirali. MP Sama Pomich Faction, Deputy Chairman of the Verkhovna Rada Committee on Industrial Policy and Entrepreneurship, Alexander Pliva, expert at USAID Leadership in Economic Governance, member of the Public Council under the State uh, Regulatory Service of uh, Ukraine, and moderator of the program is Libomir Cherny, senior exec uh, expert at USAID Leadership in Economic Governance. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us today, despite difficult meteorological conditions. But uh, uh, I would like to greet you on behalf of our program, USAID Leadership and Economic Governance for our program. This is the last event. We end our work, and we are happy to uh, have this wonderful working atmosphere. We continue, we have some events, and I would like to say that today we present one more draft, and this is the package of uh, initiatives, legislative initiatives we were working for several months on together with the Ministry of Economic Development and Trade, together with the State Regulatory Service, and uh, of course interested uh, MPs, some of whom, the majority, they were the initiators of some draft laws. They are here, and uh, these draft laws of ours, they are about strengthening uh, the responsibility of officials in the sphere of uh, uh, regulatory uh, uh, authorization actions and in the sphere of provision of administrative services and uh, uh, in the government they say that uh, they uh, should increase the responsibility of business and uh, this responsibility is on the rise now they increased the fines in the sphere uh, uh, of uh, um, uh, labor and employment of population, and it created additional load, additional burden on business, and now they want to increase responsibilities in other areas. And uh, before this, uh, uh, we didn't uh, say that there should be more responsibility of officials for as uh, provision some documents, some um, licenses, and uh, we want to speak about it now, that if uh, there is an increase of responsibility on one side, there should be the increase of responsibility on the other side to uh, level the situation. So the mechanisms that provide the opportunity to bring officials to responsibility, they are inefficient, and uh, this is also a problem. So we are going to speak about these problems today. And I would like to say that uh, uh, Ksenia Mikhailovna is absent, and she we, we have another representative of the service. Uh, Ksenia Mikhailovna is now attending the meeting at the Cabinet of Ministers, and uh, <coughs> uh, we will be able to hear the opinion of the State Regulatory Service. But we will start today from the MPs who initiated these draft laws. And I would like to give the floor to Oksana Petrivna Prodan uh, uh, um, and then to Sergei Kiral, Sergei Ivanovich Kiral. So Oksana Petrivna, you are given the floor. Good afternoon, everyone. So I greet you all with winter, 
And uh, Lubomir said about the increase of responsibility. Uh, 73, 73 draft law is the increase of responsibility. We had this responsibility on paper, but in real life, I know only uh, separate cases when officials wanted to uh, wanted to punish some other officials, and some of them uh, really uh, had this responsibility on them. And uh, draft law 7373 gives us chances, give, uh, gives us the opportunity to change the existing system. It uh, envisages real responsibility uh, for the officials if they violate the law. So we worked uh, on this law for a long time, and uh, I would like to thank uh, Alexander Pliva, and he helped us uh, really. And from the start, the idea was great. It was difficult to write it out correctly. And uh, draft law 73733 envisages the right uh, for the uh, public councils. Uh, uh, under the bodies of power at the state administrations, we identified why these bodies, they are, uh, they are not related to some uh, separate uh, personified interests. They deal with uh, general issues, and the representatives of these public uh, councils, uh, they are independent and uh, uh, theoretically, uh, they're independent. And uh, if we are speaking about central bodies of power who deal with the overall regulation of the economy, and the representatives of those public councils will be able to um, compile the protocols about uh, violations made by officials. And these protocols will be submitted to courts and will be uh, revised by the courts. Uh, so this is uh, the opportunity to bring uh, the officials to responsibility. Maybe uh, first it will be difficult, but the availability of this norm will motivate uh, officials to get information uh, about the number of days uh, he should uh, issue the documents or uh, to um, prevent some corruption. And uh, it was rather difficult uh, to uh, gather the authors uh, in the parliament, uh, those who have relation to uh, state service and to the processes of uh, procedures, legislative procedures. For many, it was a challenge that uh, uh, the public will provide these protocols. Uh, and uh, after we provided some explanations, we, uh, they agreed on this. And uh, it was uh, important to uh, find the people uh, in the relevant committee. And we have several co-authors uh, from the series. I think Mr. Kovartsov, Kovartsov, uh, Mr. Karol, uh, uh, these are the members of the relevant committee, and uh, I thank those who are present here. We have many people who helped us in this uh, draft law, and uh, those uh, deputies uh, uh, who deal with the economic issues, uh, they supported us. So um, I hope that uh, we will uh, uh, that uh, during the next session, it is in the plan, and it will. Uh, we hope that it will be uh, voted for really uh, soon, and we will be able to introduce a new mechanism that uh, the laws uh, uh, started. Uh, uh, that the laws start uh, their work, and uh, using uh, uh, this opportunity, I would like to say that we uh, voted uh, for the draft uh, law, the responsibility, personal responsibility of um, a tax service when the state will pay to taxpayers. And uh, no one expected this. When I introduced this draft law, they said uh, it was not possible, but I hope that it will be signed and it will become law. 
and 73-73, I believe this draft law will be a part of our legislation and will become a norm that each official should understand that if he violate, violates the law, uh, so uh, uh, that uh, in any moment um, the representative of public council can record this violation and uh, he uh, will then try to convince the court uh, that he is right. So I hope that our press conference will be the start for further cooperation. And they, I thank for Alexander Plui and uh, uh, Alexander Plui and I hope that we will cooperate further. Thank you. So I would like to say about broader things, about the situation that is in our country. Uh, in the sphere of business, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the majority of businesses, uh, uh, and Oksana mentioned that uh, they complain uh, about the uh, behavior of uh, tax administration, we uh, complain about tax authorities. Uh, and here I would like to call on the government and the Ministry of Finance to implement the proposals, the promises uh, concerning uh, the creation of a properly functioning service of uh, financial investigations, no matter how you call it that uh, would replace this uh, tax police uh, that uh, uh, for many years uh, um, uh, took huge uh, bribes uh, to close uh, uh, the cases that they artificially opened. This is 90% of all the cases uh, they opened. They uh, these cases were not sent to court because money was paid for this. And uh, this is uh, a big priority. We all know that uh, it is difficult to push this idea through the government and through the um, uh, committees. But I would like to say that uh, we would like that business uh, would see proper results in this area and also uh, not enough attention is paid by the government and by the president to the reform of the state service. And uh, in order to uh, turn these institutions into efficient, uh, active uh, service institutions, to regulatory controlling bodies. And uh, uh, this is... Uh, about the tax service, fiscal service, they should be helpers of the business, not controllers. Um, of course, this is one of the basic functions. And uh, uh, despite the laws we adopted, uh, some uh, uh, there is no clear uh, strategy, and uh, in the majority um, of cases, people uh, work as they previously did, and uh, here is a great threat to lose uh, trust to uh, uh, the initiatives of the power. And going back to the topic of our discussion, uh, by these initiatives, we are trying to minimize the pressure on business and to uh, reinforce the business in their rights by providing them with uh, some instrument that will allow them to efficiently protect themselves and uh, uh, also in the courts and in state uh, structures to protect their rights there. And this draft law that I have honored to represent, 7326, this is a draft law about control over controllers. And uh, this uh, relates to uh, 
many controlling structures that exist in Ukraine that carry out oversight in separate areas. By this draft law, we are trying to uh, uh, provide administrative responsibility that exists uh, in Article 166 that introduced responsibility of controllers uh, who carry out checks, but now this article do not meet the requirements of today. And uh, we uh, adopted a complex reform of the system of state oversight, and there were many innovations and electronic database uh, about all the checks, and we reinforced the protection of business. We limited the number of days for these checks, and we changed the volume of the tasks uh, and work that are done, uh, is done by controllers. So I would like to thank to uh, live experts uh, who, uh, together with the state institutions, joined to, to the development of this draft law and uh, uh, proposed uh, the solutions to resolve this problem. So also uh, differentiation of uh, responsibility is introduced. Uh, so the damages, uh, the volume of these damages uh, uh, made by controlling the course of uh, uh, this uh, check. So uh, this responsibility will be established. These are fines and so on. And uh, the important aspect is the separation of uh, administrative punishment or sanctions that can be imposed by a state regulatory service without decision of the court and uh, also uh, the decision of the court, and it will provide opportunity to uh, respond uh, uh, more efficiently at violations and also the provision of right to public counsel, to public organization, uh, to uh, provide protocols uh, uh, on those uh, officials who uh, violated uh, some uh, Laws. So um, uh, this is a draft law. This is not a law, and we uh, now want to discuss it in the parliament uh, to uh, uh, involve experts in our discussions. And now we see that separate uh, public councils organizations abuse their rights, and uh, they turn this important. Uh, public work in the element of uh, blackmail, and this is done uh, in relation to the bodies of power and in relation to business and uh, colleagues uh, in uh, um, public organizations. And uh, in Lviv, uh, there is an organization, I won't name it, that uh, became a negative example of this and turned this case into profitable business. And I hope that this draft law will be voted for in the first reading and in the second reading maybe some uh, 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 some uh, changes can be introduced in order to reinforce uh, responsibility there. So I am thankful for the. Uh, I, I'm thankful for uh, for uh, being able to cooperate with this uh, project and uh, uh, so this draft law uh, 7373. Uh, he uh, wants to criticize this draft law, but uh, uh, no opportunities for corruption uh, for the members of uh, public councils. Uh, so there are no such things in the draft law. 
the representative of the public council compiles the protocol that uh, some official violated the norm, and then this protocol is sent to court, and only the court can establish whether there is a violation and uh, then uh, decide whether to uh, punish or to release the officials. So if some <coughs> public organization would uh, abuse this right, they will end the activity because if they provide this protocol without proper grounds, this official uh, that uh, was wrongfully accused, uh, he will act and uh, any member of a public council uh, who uh, will uh, abuse this uh, protocol. So uh, the, if this uh, happen, uh, if, if this happens, so uh, in this way, the public councils, uh, they um, so 73-73 is a very nice draft law without any opportunities for violations. And uh, um, I would liquidate tax police uh, because uh, uh, now they do not do it in order to uh, create another body. But uh, why don't we uh, liquidated if it's not efficient at all, but this is not the top. Uh, this is not the topic of our discussion today. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I will give the floor to Sergey. But I would like to say that uh, today we have the representative of the state regulatory so service and uh, uh, he will share the experience about the complaints and about regulations. And we have a representative of one of the public councils. And uh, uh, from me, I would like to uh, say about the process of work on this package of draft laws. We paid a lot of attention to the mechanism that we envisaged, and we had uh, many discussions with different people who provided the uh, views, for example, bringing to responsibility for violations uh, in the sphere of uh, provision of permits. It, uh, this uh, was uh, discussed with the ministry and uh, uh, now there is uh, no uh, responsibility in the, uh, this, so this uh, 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 provision of permits and uh, administrative services, they are interrelated and also we saw that state regulatory service, uh, uh, it is difficult for them to um, carry out uh, these activities and uh, Nikola Volinets from Ivan Frankisk, the lawyer, uh, helped us and uh, Mr. Glevichuk uh, helped us in the sphere of uh, uh, regulatory uh, um, uh, sphere. And uh, uh, so a lot of uh, public discussions were held with the center of uh, political and legal reforms, and uh, they um, advise us to, devise, uh, to uh, divide uh, this in two procedures because the courts are overloaded and uh, uh, cases are uh, not brought uh, to their logical ends. And uh, uh, what we want to focus our uh, attention on, and Alexander Petrivna said this correctly, that we hope for preventive action of law, that uh, officials who are responsible for decisions, that they 
will think twice before uh, violating something. And uh, this is uh, the most important for us to prevent. Uh, of course, bringing to responsibility is important to have a clear meca mechanism for us. But for us, prevention is the most important. And uh, the more people will have control in this country, uh, then uh, bringing to responsibility in this country uh, will be easier uh, to uh, do. So um, I hope that state regulatory service, uh, Alexandra Barbiluk, um, a man who uh, deals with the issues of uh, control at state regulatory service, he will share his opinion why state regulatory service supported these uh, draft laws, why we participated in the work and uh, participated in public discussions. Uh, uh, we have experience in this. We have a function of control over controllers. This is our main activity. And uh, as Aksana Trivna said today, uh, we are not uh, uh, we are disinterested we um, are independent and our so uh, we um, also uh, uh, so um, all these uh, bodies, they are interrelated. So this draft law 7373, why we supported it? Because in the permit system, there is such, uh, there is a system of declaration. So as it was in the matters of registration of legal persons, they simplified the system. There was declarative principle and uh, they had it also in licensing, but the role of uh, supervision of control is also on the rise. And the uh, entity says that uh, they meet all the criteria and through declaration they can get permits and then this will be done in licensing as well. So in the code on administrative violations, this uh, declarations, they uh, were not introduced. When we verified the submission, the declaration, so, so, so um, these, uh, there were matters about uh, registration and uh, we were not able to use the article uh, uh, 166.10. Uh, there were only um, regulatory documents. And there is a principle that violations, they should be properly established by law and MERTA as a body that forms uh, the policy. They supported this and our colleagues supported it and uh, uh, the deputies supported it as well. So I would like to say why uh, Ksenia Mikhailovna is absent today. Um, now they hold uh, the meeting of the cabinet, uh, uh, there will be a, a cabinet of ministers uh, meeting on deregulation and uh, a further implementation and development of uh, um, the system of control. And uh, as it was said today by our colleagues that our supervision and control, it should be turned into service. And uh, um, last year, three draft laws were adopted. And uh, these draft laws 
they will help us to build a new system of uh, supervision and control. And uh, at the end, I would like to say that uh, this is the involvement of the public to control the controllers, and also the task is to through introduction of the elements of transparency through creation. So the law envisages integrated automated system of supervision of, and control, and it reinforces the responsibility and uh, the entities will know about all procedures of supervision and control, and the public can, will be able to analyze the information that will be open to public, and this will be the instrument to show that some of the bodies are not efficient and maybe are not needed. So, uh, uh, so we support this draft law and uh, support the draft laws and we uh, contributed to them. <coughs> Ksana Petrivna Prodan is going to the uh, government's meeting. Uh, so we thank uh, you and uh, uh, Sergei Ivanovich. Maybe you would like to make a comment. So, so I didn't want to criticize 73-73. I wanted to show those fa facts that we have. Today we present these draft laws and they will allow us to, <coughs> to reinforce responsibility of those who should protect the rights of entrepreneurs, but they abuse uh, their office. And I support what Oksana said. We uh, work together on our joint initiatives, and I hope that by these two uh, draft laws, as, uh, we uh, only add something positive, not take something away. So um, there should be more comprehensive reforms in uh, the judiciary and the law enforcement. So um, there should be complex uh, 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 actions. So uh, there is such a thing I would like to voice it. Uh, so the first author is Sergei Ivanovich Kiral. Uh, uh, this draft law 7326, we introduced changes uh, to the labor code in case of uh, repeated violation uh, during the year concerning some procedures, procedures of control or procedure of uh, provision of permit of uh, service. Um, in case of repeated violation, the head of the body in which this official works, uh, they should stop cooperation with this official. And additionally, we reinforce the uh, uh, we reinforce the prevention. So we are speaking not about uh, administrative responsibility, but also disciplinary responsibility. Uh, so we hope that this will be an important factor that will prevent such violations. This is written in one of the drafts, and uh, these draft laws are in the package, but their speed uh, in uh, uh, going through the parliament is uh, different, and uh, uh, some deputies 
understand the issues of economy, in uh, the issues of administrative services. Some dep deputies uh, do not know these issues, so the uh, speed of uh, the uh, adoption will be different. And uh, uh, the first initiative will uh, simplify the way for the second, and the second will simplify the a way for the third. Of course, we wanted uh, uh, that they be adopted in one package, but uh, uh, I don't believe that this is uh, uh, happening. So uh, now we give the floor to our colleague from the public uh, council member. Uh, so uh, one of the positive aspects of the uh, USAID uh, program is that they uh, involve those people uh, who have uh, experience uh, in uh, uh, this uh, sphere. And um, this draft law, it took half yeah, this was the work on the document, and uh, we started to work on this topic on, uh, in 2014. I initiated the monitoring of uh, uh, provision of permits, and there are many vi there were many violations in the sphere, and uh, there were no opportunity to respond want properly on these violations. And now we have a successful reform of decentralization. We provide uh, responsibilities at the local level and provide financial resources for this. And decentralization, the sphere of permits, it was not done before. The bodies were in place, but when violations happened uh, while issuing these permits, in order to establish this violation uh, in remote areas, uh, representatives of regulatory services came to these remote places in order to establish violation. For example, uh, when some violation is committed, uh, the legislation uh, provides that only some officials from regulatory service can um, record such violations. So we have only eight in central and 25 in territorial. Uh, so we have 30 people in the country who can uh, provide such protocols. So uh, we are speaking about decentralization of responsibility. Now uh, this uh, protocol can be compiled on site. Uh, the member of uh, the public council can provide this um, uh, protocol. Uh, so. Uh, the Cabinet of Ministers, the body that forms the state policy in the sphere of uh, uh, permits, and uh, the Ministry of uh, Economic Development and Trade, and the body that uh, implements this policy, this is the State Regulatory Service. So uh, the uh, discussions were held uh, on the day on th of the entrepreneur. And we presented a concept of draft law, and it was supported by uh, all who were present, the members of the regulatory service and others. And we had a broad discussion. And the result is like this. In case of uh, violation, this uh, protocol can be compiled by three persons. First, this is administrator of the center of uh, uh, social services, uh, uh, the second representative of the central body of executive power that realizes the policy in this area, uh, and the third is representative of public council of these uh, bodies of state uh, of state administration and the regional uh, councils of entrepreneurs. So those people who 
locally have the opportunity to come and to see the documents and to uh, get evidence that there were violations, they can compile this protocol and send it to court. So in this way, we will be able to reinforce responsibility. And uh, the main idea is prevention, the understanding that uh, these eight persons won't be able to. So maybe we uh, that they will come to some uh, settlement in Odessa, or the understanding of this that these violations they will be without any punishment. And uh, this model is used in all three draft laws, two are registered, and uh, we expect the uh, registration of the draft law that deals with the broader issue concerning citizens and entities. This is the law on uh, administrative services, and in the law, it is envisaged that there is responsibility for violation, but the uh, code uh, on administrative violation do not have the ar proper article on this. So in 2012, this law was adopted. Uh, so they say said A, but they didn't say uh, said uh, B. So what is this responsibility? They didn't say so for. Uh, for the lawyers, they know all three elements of the norm. We have, uh, um, uh, so we do not have proper sanctions in this area. So the main elements I've stated. So the aim is to delegate responsibilities to a local level. I would like to remind to you that we have uh, infographics. So we presented uh, three draft laws uh, on the graph in a simple form. And I would like to say that this uh, package was developed and supported by the State Regulatory Service and the Ministry of Economic Development and Trade. I would like to thank Valery Prokopcud, Deputy Director of the Department of uh, Entrepreneurship, Dr. Vitaly Makovsky. Um, uh, one of the uh, heads of the department who also participated in the draft law. I would like to thank uh, Alexander Barbaluk, who represent uh, the fiscal service and who also uh, got involved in the development of the draft law. And we call about and uh, Alexander Gavashuk, Alexander, me, and our deputies, those who were present here today, Viktor Galasiuk, who actively supported the draft laws and many others who joined and supported this initiative. Uh, and uh, 25 deputies signed uh, the draft law. Uh, the next uh, draft law was signed by 60 deputies. So this is a good support. And we hope for the registration of the third draft law. Alexander mentioned about. And they are all united by the same logic, the same algorithm. We understand that this is not a panacea. And uh, um, now the deputies. Uh, uh, review two important draft laws, uh, one that should unify all uh, permit procedures. So uh, unified terms uh, and uh, lists of documents and so on. And the second draft law. Um, so this draft law 41, 31, 1. So um, it uh, was registered, but it was not uh, uh, reviewed by the council. And we want to introduce declarative principle then to cancel some documents, some permits that exist now. The both both draft laws are. Um, I interconnected. Uh, Sergei Ivanovich Kiral co-authored uh, uh, draft law 41, 31, 1, 
And uh, the second draft law, uh, we believe that Viktor Galasiuk will present it. So it uh, uh, was supported by the European Business Association and the Trade Chamber, and we uh, introduced uh, recommendations of the one of the committees of uh, uh, employers of Ukraine and the um, uh, Union of Entrepreneurs. And it is widely supported. Uh, it uh, was discussed in different groups, and we understand that these initiatives now are really needed because uh, the procedures uh, connected with uh, business, they should be reasonable. No one says that they should be without control, but they should be reasonable. If there is sense to control something, to follow something, uh, so, um, but if uh, uh, <coughs> uh, some permits are not used uh, for years or only one permit um, per year is needed, but we still preserve the procedure, this is not correct. We should simplify things, but in a reasonable way. And at the same time, we would like that business got more leverage of control of uh, and our um, program leadership and economic development worked in this direction and we developed uh, uh, initiatives and we hope that uh, uh, these initiatives will be promoted in the Supreme Council and will become part of our legislation and will bring uh, improvements uh, we aspired for many years. So if you have comments, we have some time. Please introduce yourself first. Good afternoon, Vyacheslav Keslovsky, All Ukrainian Association of uh, uh, Companies. Uh, I would like to thank the organizers because, first of all, uh, a real future of our country is uh, social society control, and the USA succeeded in this. I would like to ask what are the chances, real ch chances? Uh, I mean, ch ch chances for uh, their adoption. So uh, we work uh, on this. I am the member uh, of uh, uh, um, the Council at the Regulation Service and uh, I see that our uh, right uh, thoughts and conclusions are still not implemented. For s several years, I spent several weeks uh, in the committee of Denisova. Uh, 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 this was about uh, counteraction uh, counter of to trafficking. Uh, draft law uh, 7365. So, uh, the uh, lawyers, uh, they try to do something, but business uh, remains uh, in a uh, bad condition. Uh, unfortunately, Oksana left. Uh, she is an honest person, and uh, she would say that next year we have some chances. So. Um, Sorry for the slow speech. I will start and Alexander will continue. I would like to start with the fact that whether you like it or not, you are in the process of expert work and you become a lobbyist. You start to think about draft laws not from the position of the quality of the text or introduction of some ideology, but also uh, when you start to think about whether they will be adopted, you think about the authors, you think about the support from some uh, central bodies of executive power because uh, uh, every uh, TV program, every Facebook uh, um, message, uh, they all uh, count. And we formed the group of co-authors. And uh, I would like to say that uh, both bodies of central body who uh, 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 they supported this, these draft laws and uh, 
We have uh, all the ma main factions and the heads of the committees among the authors of our draft laws, and I believe that both draft laws have good chances, and the third draft law is not registered for one reason. We search for the right first author we have uh, who can sign this and uh, who can submit it, but the author should be like this, that this draft law had good chances for adoption. It can be registered even tomorrow, uh, with, uh, but we search for the right author for this draft law, who would support us and who will, who will be the speaker on this draft law. So we have all the ch chances. So if uh, the situation will be proper, uh, so uh, we, uh, the Ministry of uh, uh, Economic Development and Trade and the regulatory service and the public council, uh, they can join to the process and those who watch us online uh, write to uh, Parubi, write to Kozumiakin committee because two of these draft laws got to uh, his committee, right to G Galasiuk committee, and uh, Vanchuk's committee, in order to promote these initiatives, in order that the sh uh, uh, there is proper uh, pressure from the public to uh, adopt these uh, draft laws. We do not have another way, and uh, from our side, we try to build everything correctly and to reach uh, the structure of the draft laws in order that they uh, are balanced and uh, uh, in order that they had uh, the least of opposition. <laughs> so maybe you didn't hear this, but Oksana Petrina said that she hopes that this draft law 7373 73 uh, will be on the agenda uh, and uh, in the beginning of the year. And uh, uh, we hope that, uh, and Aksana, she was the initiator and the owner of this, uh, and the author of this draft law. And uh, also there is a great, great list of deputies who became the initiators of this draft law. And uh, we should not wait, we should create a request for such initiatives in order to get support. And uh, uh, I would like to read this paragraph. We will adhere to the principles of responsibilities and openness and will limit every um, uh, and we'll, we'll try to prevent any corruption. So this is uh, from the preamble of uh, the uh, coalition document. So they should adhere to this document. And good afternoon. And the general director uh, uh, of the enterprise and uh, the former uh, head of legal service in the armed forces of Ukraine. Uh, I was really glad to see uh, the announcement about your presentation because for the f seven months uh, we worked with the ministry and uh, some uh, it is really important that uh, something is being done in the sphere of permits. And uh, uh, the enterprise is bankrupt, and I see that there are clear provisions about responsibility in your draft laws. But it is said when uh, the official says that their responsibility is uh, is not implemented in practice. So there should be 
a list of requirements that is signed, but 97% cannot uh, repeat uh, that they are officials and they should do this to uh, implement the laws and implement the constitution. So when the central bodies of executive power build the way and then the heads of the central bodies of power say about certification, whether th this is an administrative service. Uh, Mr. Lavrenyuk, uh, the deputy minister, says, no, this is not on the list. Uh, and uh, why they didn't introduce this there? So I looked through the documents on administrative services and how the mechanisms work uh, uh, in the Western Europe, and we want to implement the norms and to work according to them. I'm ready to provide practical help to those who work on these draft laws, but I would like to ask such a question. So supervision and control. For me, this is said that uh, kids and grandkids, they uh, eat products that do not meet the standards, those requirements. Because uh, uh, in, uh, I see how it is done in practice. There are mechanisms, but uh, no one uh, can abolish the laws of nature. Theory is good, but when it is not applied, I cannot understand why not we why don't we make clear steps to get practical experience from Ivano-Frankivsk, Lvivsk, Donetsk, and Kharkiv oblasts, the examples from there, but why it is not done? Starting 2008, I couldn't understand why the apparatus of the executive bodies decrease and the functions uh, of these bodies increased. So I understand that uh, attestation, uh, this is the issue. So how this responsibility of the official, how it can be under control of public organization without the economic entities that are interested. We understand your question. Thank you. I think this is a rhetoric question. And going back to the previous issue, whether there is a chance to uh, for the good initiatives to be adopted, do we have chances in Ukraine to have reforms that will work for the uh, people, whether we have political will for this? We have a lot of problems. And uh, what you've said and what our colleagues said, uh, we have a government. They should be responsible. The government should be the driver of the reforms, of the decisions, and uh, through the ministries and uh, with, introduc with the involvement of experts, they should do it. And uh, um, sometimes uh, people want that uh, the Supreme Council be a scapegoat that they didn't or didn't adopt something. But in three years, the president and those several people who hold control here in Ukraine, they didn't provide complex uh, reform of the state service, of the state institutions. This is a serious work that uh, hasn't been started. And this is the quality of uh, specialists who work there. This is motivation, salary, social benefits, and other things. 
And also, this is uh, the fact that our institutions are post-Soviet. They do not correspond to today's challenges, today's realia. And all the leading specialists in the development of the state, uh, they say that uh, uh, the um, uh, the ruining of the state starts when uh, uh, the state do not develop properly, and uh, we are like Titanic. We just continue. The prime minister said that uh, we have two or three percent growth, but we continue to move nowhere. And this is the biggest problem because legislative initiatives are great. They are good and experts, deputies, they are normal, they are progressive, they work in the right direction. But let's not forget that someone will uh, implement this law and there should be institutions at the central and at the local level who will implement them in life. So we don't have this level. So uh, unfortunately, we do not have this capability and it uh, uh, we, we as deputies, we do not see a clear plan of actions and we do not see a political will for doing this. So they just want to hold everyone under control in order to benefit from this. And what should happen? So these events that are ongoing uh, in Kiev during the last week, this may be the emotional rea reaction of the society because we lack changes. We do not see them. So I would like to say, and this is really important, this issue you've raised. Unfortunately, Dicto, we should say that uh, the overall strategy of reform of a state uh, con uh, oversight and control, uh, this strategy is not properly voiced and the uh, permit certification, these are mechanisms of control and these mechanisms, we have a lot of them. Unfortunately, the state uh, as of today didn't say what system of the state oversight and control we build. Uh, there are three models in the world, public, uh, private uh, and uh, public and private, pu uh, private and public. So in one case, the main role is uh, with the courts, and uh, the second is uh, the uh, s uh, state plays a lot of, um, uh, uh, have the biggest role. So, <coughs> so here, no one said what we build, what we try to reach, and even those things uh, we take care of for two years. Uh, the draft law 2418A, this is not a complex reform. Maybe this is good, this is right, this intervention is a uh, uh, right uh, direction, but this is not a comprehensive reform. And in order to implement this complex reform, we need some strategy, some concept, some vision of the changes. In what spheres we have tougher control, in what spheres we have milder control, where we uh, use uh, more uh, functions of the state, or something is uh, uh, given for self-regulation or there is a court control. So we didn't deal with these issues and uh, the le legislation concerning licensing permits and the uh, legislation in the sphere of uh, um, permits in the uh, economic activity so uh, we will be able to do this when we have a comprehensive strategy. There are a lot of correct things, 
and I thank Alexander to cite uh, the coalition agreement and uh, uh, I wrote my proposals and uh, uh, through some deputies, these proposals got there, and uh, we um, also provided proposals to the strategy of the government that is mid-term concerning um, uh, taxes and uh, uh, attraction of investment. So a lot of good things were written, we need more practical steps, and Sergei Ivanovich said that law is not an answer because someone should implement it. We should have uh, changed new institutions, we should have proper training, so the law uh, the, is not enough. So uh, we want to see proactive uh, position from the government. There should be better quality of draft laws that would be sent from the government to the Supreme Council and uh, f with the further implementation. So, um, so you said about economic entity. Uh, so the economic entity that now cannot get a permit, uh, he has the opportunity uh, to address to to address administrator to the body that uh, implement uh, relevant policy and also he can address to uh, the um, advisory uh, bodies uh, in order that these people recorded these violations because only after this uh, recording of this violation uh, this case can be brought to court, and the court will establish whether the official is right or wrong. Now, um, the economic entity do not have this opportunity to record these uh, uh, violations, and the term for this is three months, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the state regulatory service cannot help all the country in this because they have limited opportunities for doing so. So Sergei Ivanovich is leaving. They have the meeting of the faction. I have a comment, Rotter Svetlana, um, Union of Entrepreneurs and the Sphere of External Advertising. Uh, we have uh, such a situation. We were not provided for a two and a half years. The permits we submitted 30 <coughs> complaints to the court and for nine months local government do not provide permits even based on court decision. And they say that uh, in the court decision it is not said that they should provide permits uh, and uh, uh, they do not want to implement the laws and and uh, the mayor uh, of Mikolaev was uh, changed and uh, in the uh, prosecutor's office was deprived from this function of oversight and now entrepreneurs can only file uh, to uh, their complaint to the court. So any violations that are committed by local power, by local officials, uh, they say that we should address the court. The entrepreneur can not do business. They should constantly attend court, court hearings and uh, this uh, do not allow to develop business properly and we hope that this draft laws will help us and uh, um, we hope that we will be able to influence the uh, officials. So these draft laws and we believe in this, uh, the law uh, on administrative services, uh, it will be registered. We believe in this. And concerning the uh, 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 sphere, 
2702 D write to Supreme Council to put it on the agenda and uh, in the Supreme Council uh, there are not only uh, <coughs> there are people who promote uh, the interests uh, of business and uh, uh, the draft law 2702D, it needs support and the more pressure should be made in order to pass it through and if this draft law is implemented then through the same algorithm or through the same logic we will we c uh, will be able to continue and uh, we see that uh, those people, the small group of people who deal with this issue and the support, we are able to mobilize uh, in the Supreme Council. These are not simple things, but we are trying to do what we can and the results that we uh, have, uh, we hope that we will have uh, uh, further results, maybe in some other formats than this. We thank those who joined us in this discussion. And uh, um, I would like to say that this event that we hold, this event is supported by USAID uh, leadership in economic governance and uh, with the support of Ukraine Crisis Media Center. We thank them for their cooperation and also we thank State Regulatory Service who was our reliable partner and uh, the people's deputies who joined our events and we hope that our cooperation will continue and initiatives that were started will be brought to their logical successful end and we will move, continue to move in the right direction. <coughs> Thank you very much and goodbye. Boy.